Hi there, welcome back. It's Sandy. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the old man searching for his reflection at the bottom of the tide pool, which is an ancient Qigong exercise to help purge the lungs, heart, and spleen of excess stored emotions. The lungs store sadness and grief, and we want to replace that with integrity. And the heart stores anxiety and excess emotions such as joy. And uh, we want to replace that with order. The heart is the, the organ that is in charge of all the other organs. And so this will help to, to, re to restore the balance of the organs. And, uh, and also love. Uh, and then the spleen stores worry. And we want to replace that with um, faith and trust. And uh, so what we do is we're going to use the, the sound that the, these uh, organs are most uh, attuned to. Each organ has its own vibration and sound. And uh, so when we use the, the sound that the organs are highest attuned to, then we are able to, to purge these, these emotions effectively. We can do this on three different levels. On the audible, which affects the physical energetics uh, level. And we can do it on a, a subaudible in a whisper, which affects the, the emotional field. And we can do this inaudibly in our heads, which affects our spiritual field. The physical field is about a foot away from our body, the emotional four to five, five feet from there. And then the emotional is five to six feet and beyond into infinity. So in this way, we are protecting all three of our energetic fields and, uh, and helping to uh, restore balance within our organs. We can do this in the morning, effectively between nine and 11, because that is the most active time for the spleen. Uh, so a great way to start your day. It's a great uh, stress reliever and it sets you up for the day. If you have a, uh, you know, a test or a speech that you have to do, anything that's stressful, this will help to, to relieve any stress or anxiety. Uh, at night before going to bed, if you suffer from insomnia um, or any other trouble sleeping or anything else, this is great for that. You can do the standing or sitting. Um, if you're doing it standing, just make sure that you're in a wuji posture, a nice athletic stance, uh, making sure your spine is, is straight, that your knees are bent, that your hips and waist, waist is relaxed. Um, that your arms are hollow, like a like a tree, like a bamboo tree. Um, and then you can do this uh, sitting. If you're sitting, you want to make sure also that your spine is straight. Uh, the main thing when you're doing the, the posture, uh, setting up for the posture, is that your perineum is slightly tight and that your anal sphincter is closed because you want to prevent energy leakage and that your spine is straight. Those are the, the main uh, things that you want to remember while doing this exercise. And keeping your tongue on your palate is also important to help the flow of energy. Okay, so the story, there is a story behind this that helps you to remember how to do this exercise so that it'll keep it simple for you. This old man one night is walking through the tide pool and he thinks he sees a pearl and he's going to go down and get it. So he reaches up, inhaling up, and then he comes down. And so we're I'm going to just show you how to do this. This is what he's doing. He's swishing like this, but at his feet in the tide pool. So making the shh sound, sort of like a releasing from a tire or saying shh to a baby. Swishing through that tide pool, really trying to find that pearl. And then he rises up one vertebrae at a time, inhaling up. And then he realizes it's just the reflection of the moon. It's not actually a pearl. So he's very disappointed. He brings his hands down and he makes the ha or heart sound. Ha vibrating the heart, rolling the hands over, bringing them close to the body. Ho making the spleen sound or ho sound. Okay, well you can do that again, inhaling up. Ha ah, ho and again inhaling up ha ah, ho 
So we're going to do three sets of each. So he comes up again, inhaling up, and then comes down and he's swishing through the tide pool. At his feet, looking for that pearl. And then rises up, one vertebrae at a time. Ha! Ah. Ho! Oh. Ha! Ah. Ho! Oh. Ha! Rises up and comes down and he's swishing through the tide pool, trying to find that pearl. Yep, he's going to find it. Rises back up. Ah! Oh! Ah! going to move to the subaudible or the whisper. So we're going to affect the emotional field. So anything that's in that emotional field, we can affect, right? Just purging that, those emotions, letting go of anything that doesn't serve us. So again, we're going to reach up and come back down and we're going to do it on a whisper. Shh. Rising up. Coming up, smiling also encourages the energy to move. three. So now we're going to move into the inaudible level. So we're affecting the spiritual field by doing this. So this is all in our head. But when we're doing this, even though we keep the sounds to ourselves, we are still focusing on each of the organs and we're focusing on the vibration, the inherent vibration within those organs in relationship to the sound. So in this way, we can affect the spiritual field, which is about six feet and beyond into infinity. And so this is a really important uh, exercise to do if you want to, to affect your, your, your spiritual field. So, but it's done the same way.
place your hands on your navel. So like that. So right over left for women and left over right for, for men. And we're going to just get in touch with our navel. So sending our energy there. And we're going to root ourselves in, in this way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to circle rotate our, our navel nine times in each direction. So first clockwise and then counterclockwise. Like this. And then the opposite direction. And that helps us to root our energy in our lower energetic center, otherwise known as the lower dantian. And then we're going to gather energy in our palms, creating some, some heat and steam. You can place them on our eyes and inhale that energy into our eyes. And then exhale that energy down to our navel three times. And then just bring your hands back over the top of our head, down the back of our neck and shoulders. And we're going to release from our fingertips into the into the ground and then just wipe down the sides of our legs the outside of the legs to the feet again release and then down the inside of the legs to the feet and release and that's the old man searching for his reflection at the bottom of the tide pool i hope you enjoyed the this exercise if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to, to leave me a uh, comment or you can email me at sandy at breathelove.ca or sandorini at telus.net. And um, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you have access to all my, my upcoming videos. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a wonderful day.